After studying this module, you shall be able to know about ESDA, that is electrostatic detection apparatus, its features, uses and applications and VSC that is video spectral comparator, its features, uses and applications. In addition to various types of microscopes like magnifying lens, compound microscope, stereo microscope and comparison microscope that are being used for the analysis of questioned documents, some instruments such as electrostatic detection apparatus ESDA and video spectral comparator VSC are also used for the analysis of the documents that are in question. These instruments are only meant for document analysis. ESDA is a forensic device used to detect indented writings in paper. VSC combines sophisticated digital imaging and multi-wavelength LED technology with a clear and efficient software interface to provide a complete solution to the examination of all questioned documents. The electrostatic detection apparatus. ESTA is an electrostatic detection device that is specialized apparatus regularly used for questioned document analysis to decipher indentations or impressions in paper. It is a non-destructive technique. It is a sensitive technique capable of detecting indentations or impressions or subsurface writings created on pages which are several layers beneath the topmost sheet. It is also sensitive to the writings that were created many years back because of which indentations were made. It is a device used to visualize indented writings, which is a type of evidence which may be encountered during question document analysis in the cases of ransom note and extortion letters. Indented writing. Indented writing is a writing that is formed to a sheet of paper underneath the one on which the original writing was done. For example, if someone writes something on the top sheet of a notepad, the pressure exerted by the pen or pencil is sufficient to indent the papers beneath. Indented writings are the partially visible depressions on a sheet of paper that was underneath the one on which the visible writing was made while it was being written on. Such depressions are formed due to the application of pressure by the writing instrument during the process of writing. For example, the indented writing would appear as a carbon copy of the top sheet if carbon paper has been inserted between the pages. Indented writings have proved to be valuable evidence in some cases during investigation. For example, the top sheet of bookmakers records may have been removed and destroyed, but it is still possible to determine what was written on the sheet by the impressions left on the pad. These impressions may contain convicting evidences supporting the charge of illegal gambling activities etc. When paper is studied under oblique or side lighting, its indented impressions are often visible and readable. ESDA takes advantage of the technology used in copying machines and laser printers to help visualize the indented writing. A sheet of thin plastic is placed over the paper that has the suspected indented writing and both are placed in a vacuum chamber. A charge of static electricity is imparted to the plastic and then toner powder is applied to the surface of the plastic. An image of the indented writing will be created on the plastic with the added advantage that the original paper is not altered or damaged. ESDA methods can also be used to lift footprints in dust. History of the technique? Rather, Seward in 1998 and 1999 
proposed a theory explaining the detection capability of an electrostatic detection device EDD due to the surface charge effect created by paper to paper friction especially in the area wherever a writing instrument is pressed down into the uppermost sheet of paper. Seward's model was based on charge transport through the Miller paper platen structure and is called the charge transport model. The principle of the technique this technique is based on the theory that the paper sandwiched between grounded platen and Milner charging film acted as a capacitor with the change in capacitance due to differing compression of paper. This led to models like thickness variation theory and surface variation theory. Components of SDA It has a main unit, a reel holder which is the imaging film, corona wand and the mains power adapter. Implementation of SDA consists of the following steps. The document is humidified. The document is placed on a porous electrically earthen platen so that it is drawn down by the action of a vacuum pump. A length of thin transparent imaging film is placed over the document to completely cover it. Negative electrical charge is deposited onto the upper surface of the imaging film using the handheld corona wand. The operator waits for a short time while an electrostatic image forms on the imaging film. The nature of this electrostatic image is determined by the latent image of the surface irregularities on the document. The electrostatic image is developed and made visible by applying negatively charged black toner powder to the imaging film. The resulting ESTA image is therefore a life size pattern of toner particles that are bonded to those regions of the imaging film where the electrostatic image presents an effective positive charge. The ESTA image is made permanent by laminating the imaging film with a sheet of adhesive fixing film. The laminated ESTA image is removed for the further examination leaving the original document unaffected. Practical use Evaluation of material Sufficient material for examination An electrostatic detection device works most excellent when solo sheet of smooth paper that is without wrinkles, folds, creases or stains are used. Heavy weight, coated or treated papers give poor results. The age of the document is not a factor of concern in this examination. Invisible indentation has been developed on documents which were older than 50 years. Examination using oblique or sign lighting. As a general rule, all the documents should be examined using sign lighting. This is significant as they may detect deep indentations which sometimes electrostatic detection device may fail to decipher properly. Documents that have been subjected to high levels of humidity will not generally retain indentations. As a result, other forensic examinations involving the wetting of a document such as fingerprint development using a ninhydrin solution should not be done until after examination for indentations. Preparation of apparatus Humidify Electrostatic detection apparatus depends on the relative humidity of the environment. If the ambient relative humidity is less than 60% then document humidification is required and if the ambient relative humidity is greater than 60% then document humidification is not required. Extreme humidification can destroy the document. Maintaining appropriate humidity in the chamber is an important step to preserve the document and avoiding it from getting wet. Control sample When the performance of the apparatus is required to be checked, the control sample is to be kept along with the questioned document sample for the comparison of results. 
It may be possible that the apparatus does not decipher the indentations. So in such case, result can be seen on control sample as well. If the indentations are present on control sample but not on questioned, it means questioned document does not have sufficient indentation to get deciphered. It also means that apparatus is working properly. Arrangement of platen. The question sample is placed on top of the flat platen surface and has some space on platen to allow the film to charge. Nature of document. Electrostatic detection apparatus works on solo sheet of legal sized paper. Mostly second sheet is taken to decipher indentation because it is a replica of original handwriting. I would also like to mention that the deep or heavy indented writing on a page should not be taken for examination because ESDA fails to decipher deep indentations. So that time we can take third or fourth sheet of document for examination because it will have normal indentations and can be deciphered by ESDA. Second is imaging film. Imaging film should cover document properly and touch the platen all around the document. Imaging film has two purposes. First to develop electrostatic charge and second to develop any invisible indentation on the document. Also take care to avoid excessive stretching of the film. Charging of the surface. It is one of the processes in deciphering indentations. The handheld unit that is a high corona wire is used for electrostatic charge in this process. The corona van creates charge on the document and also changes charge to negative on paper. Since toner powder is negatively charged after the charge has been developed on the surface or the paper, toner powder gets attracted to the paper and develops indentation by sticking to the paper. Toner to develop indentation. The electrostatic detection apparatus to visualize subsurface writings uses black toner powder. The variations in the charge of the surface and depending on the negative charged toner particles, they are attracted to the indentation writings on the paper. Once static charge has been applied to the film, the subsurface writing will be developed. This preservation of results. After the development of indentation writing, it is important to record the results. The result can be recorded using the following methods. Adhesive lift method. The sheet or fixing paper is used to record the deciphered indentation. Fixing film is relatively a rigid sheet which is self-adhesive. The transparent polymer film is removed from backing material and cautiously fixing film is kept over the charged film. Pressure is applied carefully to fix the film by smaller roller then create sandwich so as to easily lift. After the lifting, the examiner observes developed indentation before making visible markings on the developed indentation paper. SLR photography, after development of the indentation writing on document, then it should be preserved by using photography for legal purposes. Take the pictures of photographs with scale for the purpose of court. Scanning process. We can save our results using scanning process and preserve it for future perspective. There are certain factors that influence the quality of final image by ESDA. These factors are document humidification and the type of paper. Paper has a variable composition and differences in the basic raw materials, chemical treatment, impregnation or surface finish will generally affect both the contrast and degree of background development in the image. The applications of electrostatic detection device, it is used in the examination of questioned documents, check forgery. In this category of forgery, possibility of checkbook in the hands of awful people can be there. The person can forge the signature on the check and withdraw the money. In such a case, we can examine second check 
for any indentations present. Traced forgery. Traced forgery can be done by tracing signature or handwriting impressed on second page. The forger will follow the pattern of indentation of signature or handwriting to forge the signature or handwriting of someone. In this case, deciphering of traced forgery can be done using ESTA. Ransom note existence can be determined from the source of indentations by deciphering it on another piece of paper, maybe culprit's notepad in case it is written. An anonymous letter may bear impressions of writings that relate to some everyday activity of the offender which can ultimately lead an investigator to a particular suspect. Video Spectral Comparator or the VSC. It is designed to meet the requirements of immigration authorities, government agencies and forensic science laboratories. The VSC includes advanced features for the examination, comparison and authentication of documents including passports and travel documents, official letters and breeder documents, bank notes and checks, works of art and valuable artifacts through the detection of irregularities. Video spectral comparator comprises of the following laser induced breakdown spectrometer, computer and the monitor. VSC is an integrated composite system comprising of cameras, various light sources which includes IR, laser, UV etc and filters which assist in comparison of questioned documents. Features of VSC. VSC is a comprehensive workstation and casework management system for document examiners featuring following hi-fi imaging technology an optical system that minimizes spatial distortions and chromatic aberration throughout the entire magnification range offering excellent image quality second high resolution imaging system third full range light sources that includes incident and transmitted ultraviolet to infrared plus high intensity illumination for the examination of infrared fluorescence of inks. Graphic user interface. Innate on-screen control system allows the operator to navigate the system more easily. Magnification, light sources, filters, image analysis and image processing functions are selected from simple on-screen icons using the mouse. Next feature is multiple laser images or the MLI. MLI and changeable laser images can be viewed using the VSC's side lights. Alternatively, the VSC range of hologram imaging LEDs can be used giving great flexibility. Latent images a new software feature, a digital imaging filter that detects and enhances latent security images on documents. Intelligent software, VSC ensures compatible combination of illumination and imaging filter automatically. OVI imaging, an optical viewer that creates images of OVI print from two angles incident at 45 degree simultaneously. Image comparison, a range of facilities for displaying images of two documents simultaneously including split screen, overlay and alternate strobe. Microspectrometer, a high resolution real time grating spectrometer provides absorption, reflectance, transmittance and fluorescence spectra. Image integration, a variation in the IR fluorescence emitted by two inks provides a valuable means of detecting a fraudulent alteration to the document. ICAO data reader, the OCR allows operations to check data in the machine readable zone of passports and ID cards. Areas of interest processing by selecting Restricted area of an image, the effects of an image enhancement can be improved. 
barcode reader deciphers 1D and 2D barcodes including PDF format, image measurement, a software module that enables examiner to make a variety of measurement including distances, angles, areas, circle radii and shape perimeters. A simple calibration procedure also enables absolute values to be computed. Biofringent security features. A circular polarizer will emit security features printed with chiral biofringent pigment which appears to contrast against the background under the polarizer. Color measurement characterizes the color of a selected area of an image in standard color coordinates for comparison. Image enhancement with pseudo color mapping. Invisible information decoders. Image processing and enhancement. Programmed examinations and hyperspectral imaging. VSC updated software is integrated with the document database system with single user license that enables the operator to generate their own database and to assess and display data from the KeySync reference database of security documents. KeySync is a reference database of security documents that is passports, ID cards, driving license from 180 countries comprising images and the data. VSC is one of the latest system incorporating advanced technology and integrated system in the field of question documents. It is a highly versatile system. Visual Spectral Comparator is a comprehensive digital imaging system providing the question document examiner with an extensive range of facilities for detecting irregularities on altered and counterfeit documents. VSC is a comprehensive digital imaging system combining high resolution optics and multi-spectral illumination with a powerful software package that includes tools for image enhancement and decoding digitally encrypted data. Access to optional reference databases enables comparisons with authentic security documents. Specifications in VSC digital imaging high resolution scientific grade digital camera zoom magnification ranges of approximately 1.5 to 170x on the standard 75 centimeter display monitor software features include complete control of VSC system hardware image processing comparison and analysis hyper pectoral imaging module, seamless integration with document and banknote databases, comprehensive casework management, automated examination routines, interactive tutorial, the setup of VSC 6000. The VSC consists of a main unit and a PC system. The main unit is as one can see in the figure a square box with three flaps. In the main unit, one has a high resolution CCD firewire color camera with sensitivity from 360 nanometers to 1100 nanometers, different light sources and optical filters as well as a trans light panel. The panel is situated in the center of the document platen. Underneath the platen are light sources which can illuminate the document from below. The document platen in itself is 650 mm into 650 mm. Trans light panel is 235 mm to 175 mm. In the VSC, there is also a high resolution grating spectrometer. This can analyze light from a small region in the document as part of the VSC machinery is a 30 inches screen and a PC system which is Windows based. Light sources and their uses. The VSC has four different light sources. These are used to help bring out specific types of features in the document examination. The first light source is incandescent filament lamps. These have a range from 400 nanometers to 1000 nanometers 
and encompass visible and IR light. These lights are used in the VSC when one uses the functions of flood, transmitted spot and side lighting. The LED lamps which have a wavelength from 400 to 700 nanometers are used with coaxial lighting and diffracted lighting. The UV lamps are vapor discharge tubes. The VSC offers three ranges of UV light. This is with 365 nanometers UVA, 312 nanometers UVB and 254 nanometers UVC peak wavelengths. All of these can illuminate the document from above. With transmitted lighting, the VSC also offers UV light with 365 nanometers. The last of the light sources is a flash tube. This lamp has a range of 850 to 1100 nanometer and is used for the anti-stokes flash function. A function which uses narrow band illumination to excite fluorescence, this illumination is in the IR region above 800 nanometers and lack visible light. The VSC offers three kinds of transmitted light. These light sources are located underneath the translit panel. Here transmitted UV light or transmitted broadband illumination illuminates either the entire panel or a single spot. Diffracted lighting is a function which illuminates the document from different directions and is usually used to see optically variable devices. The side lighting is also a broadband illumination. There are two lamps, one on the left hand side and one on the right hand side of the document platen. These can be used separately or they can both be on at the same time. Coaxial light is another function the VSC offers. Coaxial light is the light that is shown perpendicularly on the document. Coaxial light reveals retroreflective features in security documents, which are often used to prevent forgeries. Such retroreflective features are invisible under normal light, but revealed when the incident light is precisely coaxial to the angle of view. The VSC also has a filter control panel. With this, the filters to be used in the camera and the spot lamp while using different functions can be chosen. This can determine if the whole range of the incandescent lamps of 400 nanometers to 1000 nanometers will be measured. If only the visible light range will be led through the filter or the operator can choose specific cutoff wavelengths. There is also a function where the VSC applies a sequence of camera filters in turn. This can be used for instance to see when a change like fading happens in the image. When using certain functions, the VSC can recommend suitable camera filters to be used. Spectrum screen. The VSC offers microspectrometry with a resolution of up to 9 nanometers. The spectrum screen shows a chromaticity chart and the spectral graph after a spectrum have been recorded. In the spectral graphs, one can read the plots of light intensity versus the wavelength from 400 to 1000 nanometer. At most, there can be 20 graphs at one time. There is also a list above the spectrum where one can input textual data of a specific graph and also decide on the color of the different graphs. Various toolbars in VSC. First is the image bar, second is measurement bar and next are the applications of VSC. It reveals latent images and watermark. Latent images and watermarks are a commonly used security features on banknotes worldwide. A latent image is visible only when viewed at an acute angle under reflected light and watermark is viewed under transmitted light. VSC is designed for the visual examination of question documents and security documents. Its applications are as under. First, used by immigration authorities and forensic laboratories. Effective on all types of passports and identity cards. Detects alterations and counterfeits. 
reveals covert security features, provides documentary evidence for prosecutions, helps generate security alerts and maintains comprehensive passport and banknote reference databases. ESDA and VSC are used for the analysis of the documents that are in question. ESDA is an electrostatic detection device that is specialized apparatus regularly used for question document analysis to decipher indentations or impressions in paper. It is a non-destructive and sensitive technique. This technique is based on the theory that the paper sandwiched between ground and platen and Mylar charging film acted as a capacitor with a change in capacitance due to differing compression of paper. The application of ESTA includes detection of checks forgery, traced forgery and ransom note and anonymous letters. VSC is designed to meet the requirements of immigration authorities government agencies and forensic science laboratories. VSC is an integrated composite system comprising of cameras, various light sources which include IR, laser, UV, etc. and filters which assist in comparison of questioned documents. VSC is designed for the visual examination of questioned documents and security documents.